Straight to our top story this afternoon. While the BJP may be going hammer and tongs at Rahul Gandhi, but the party's candidate from Sultanpur, Varun Gandhi, is all praise for Rahul. While Varun's mother, Menika Gandhi, hit out at sister-in-law Sonia Gandhi and has had no problems dismissing Rahul as immature, Varun Gandhi's praise for his first cousin, Rahul Gandhi, has raised many eyebrows within his own party. Let's in fact listen in to the two brothers who displayed unusual camaraderie. <laughs> जो अमेठी में हम कंटिन्यूसली स्ट्रैटेजी के साथ काम कर रहे हैं अमेठी में हमने एजुकेशन हब का फाउंडेशन तैयार किया है हमने फूड पार्क और किसानों के लिए लंबी सोच करके काम किया है तो ये वो जो जो वरुण कह रहे हैं वो सही कह रहे हैं now, Varun Gandhi has had to tweet a clarification after profusely praising Rahul Gandhi and his work in his constituency, Amethi. He said it should not look like an endorsement of any party or candidate. So rather interesting developments over the last few hours. Rahul Gandhi's estranged cousin and BJP candidate from Sultanpur, Varun Gandhi, was praising the work done by Rahul in Amethi. Addressing a public meeting, Varun Gandhi said that Sultanpur must replicate the development work done by Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi in turn thanking his cousin for this endorsement. But then quickly, Varun had had to clarify his remarks. So the question is whether there's more to Varun endorsing Rahul Gandhi's work model or is it just brotherly bonding? Well, let's in fact try and get you the inside story. As it now appears, there could be a cold war brewing in the BJP between the two camps, one belonging to Sushma Swaraj and the other to Narendra Modi. For more on that, we are now joined by my colleague Gaurav Savant. Gaurav, what is it that you're picking up about this sudden endorsement of sorts that came from Varun Gandhi and the swift clarification that uh, had to be put in uh, shortly after Rahul Gandhi thanked Varun Gandhi. Well, some within the BJP are asking, was this a calculated move? Because Varun Gandhi, today he may tweet that this wasn't an endorsement, but what did he say? He very categorically said that the small scale industries, the work that has been done by Rahul Gandhi in Amethi needs to be emulated even in Sultanpur. Varun Gandhi is not contesting from Pilibhit just now. He has moved to the adjoining uh, district, uh, the adjoining parliamentary constituency of Sultanpur. He is contesting from there and he is telling the voters of Sultanpur that I will do exactly what Rahul Gandhi has done for small scale industries and self-help groups. Now, is this not endorsement? Who's fighting from uh, Amethi? It is Smriti Irani. Smriti Irani, for, for her anyway, it's an uphill task. Uh, Rahul Gandhi had won the last elections with a margin of almost 3.5 lakh votes. So it's a huge battle that she's fighting. In this, the Congress has just turned around and said that this is endorsement and uh, what Varun Gandhi is saying is absolutely right. This makes the task for Smriti Irani or the BJP all the more difficult and that is where within the BJP people are asking is this the 160 camp the 160 club versus the mission 272 plus well Gaurav is still with us Gaurav this moment of warmth really so to speak between uh, Rahul Gandhi and Varun Gandhi uh, how how much ever briefly it lasted uh, certainly uh, was the highlight of the event today uh, uh, Sunia Gandhi's nomination uh, that she filed in Rai Bareilly but do you think uh, the manner in which this clarification has come forth from Varun Gandhi that would in a way raise questions about how the leadership is now upset with him for speaking in this manner for blunting their attack on Rahul Gandhi well, Varun Gandhi uh, in March had told reporters that there is no way he will campaign against Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi. That is something he'd clarified. He'd also said that, uh, you know, he, he, he's changed and now his campaigning will be very positive. In fact, at the same Sultanpur, uh, uh, you know, uh, rally where he was addressing some, some of the party voters and others, he said that Varun Gandhi has changed. 
uh, he went to the extent of calling himself as vrid or an old man and that he said you there, there's, there'll be a change in my politics uh, if you remember in in pilibhit uh, before the last elections he'd made a made an extremely derogatory statement about the minority community now he says hindus and muslims need to come together and move on in life and i've learned and we have to take everyone together so while there is a change uh, he said he will not campaign against sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi the gandhis have also indicated that they will not campaign against him so this is some kind of an unwritten family code where, where menka gandhi of course uh, ruchika is completely apart from this because menka gandhi has has not only campaigned against uh, sonia gandhi and rahul gandhi uh, she hasn't spared them at all in her criticism in fact if you recall in 1984 she had actually contested she fought elections against rajiv gandhi so do you think this time around uh, this controversy is not going to die down uh, it does it appear that the party may not see this as an innocuous acknowledgement of some mp's work considering they are cousins considering they are from rival parties and interestingly the choice of the bjp candidate from uh, from ameti who's taking on rahul gandhi because she is considered to be a heavyweight politician someone who's higher up in the bjp rankings who's taken on the challenge of taking on uh, rahul gandhi and now we have varun gandhi in a way blunting that attack well you know is this a clash between the gen next uh, of of leadership within the bjp is a question that many are asking today uh, smriti rani as you rightly pointed out she is a party vice president uh, she is considered extremely close to the powerful uh, people within the bjp uh, she is a firebrand leader uh, uh, she she's a you know she she's emerged as a leader in her own right and in all of that when she takes on a rahul uh, she takes on a rahul gandhi at ameti uh, what sources in the bjp are telling us is that the entire might of the bjp and the rss will be with smriti irani to take on rahul gandhi at ameti but when within the party you have a varun gandhi who is this mischief is this a calculated move or is this a slip of tongue uh, in in case of politicians it's very rare uh, to to look at it as a slip of tongue where where the party's candidate is actually endorsing rahul gandhi and the good work he's done in ameti and smriti rani was on headlines today just la last night and smriti rani told headlines today that rahul gandhi has done no development uh, in ameti and this 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 is all about not family politics but all this um, ameti war is all about development well it this does uh, you know uh, queer the pitch to a large extent for smriti rani it remains to be seen how they move on from this point